Welcome to CypressX Zen. Today we will go through a quick overview of the NIST AI playbook and a practical guide for the healthcare industry. The NIST AI playbook is structured into four key domains and we will go through that in detail in the following slides. Let's get started. The NIST AI playbook is structured around four key domains. These domains provide a comprehensive approach to managing AI risks across the life cycle of AI systems. Today, we will focus on this domain and we will begin with Govern. The Govern domain establishes governance structures and accountability. It ensures compliance with legal, ethical, and organizational standards. An example of activity is setting up policies for handling sensitive data in AI-driven patient diagnosis systems. The next domain is MAP. The MAP domain allows for the identification and documentation of AI risks throughout the system lifecycle. It also allows for the understanding of the dependencies and potential failure points. An example of mapping is to map biases in an AI hiring tool that screens candidates. The next domain is measure. Quantifying risks in terms of impact and likelihood is a function of the measure domain. Prioritizing risks and using standardized scoring frameworks is also essential. An example of the measure domain is the measurement of the financial and reputational risks of misdiagnosis by an AI powered diagnostic tool. The final domain is manage. The manage domain allows for mitigation and monitoring of risks continuously and for implementation of incident response plans in the event that something goes wrong. An example of doing this is managing risks in real time for an AI system predicting emergency room patient volumes. Why AI risk management matters in healthcare industry? AI is revolutionizing healthcare, diagnostics, and patient care, and hospital operations. The risks include privacy violations, biases, malicious use, and compliance failures. The AI playbook offers a structured approach for managing this risk. Again, with all the four domains as is listed, we'll begin with another detail of going through what it means to govern. In this domain, governance in action means, for example, ensuring compliance with HIPAA, with patient's data analysis. Some of the policies that is needed here is to have a data privacy policy, a bias detection policy, and a transparency policy. Actions that could be taken here is to establish a governance committee for AI oversight who might oversee the de deployment of these policies. Example of tools that can aid the implementation of governance in action is OneTrust for compliance tracking or IBM Watson OpenScale for bias and fairness checks. In mapping and identifying risks, mapping AI risk in AI-driven diagnostics is critical because it allows you to identify your risks. The risk of AI bias is in diagnosing diseases for underrepresented groups could result in a lawsuit, as the case might be. You need to also establish processes that identify risks in data collection models and training outputs. The goal is to proactively mitigate issues before deployment. Examples of tools that can be used in mapping risks in AI-driven diagnostics includes Evidently AI for data quality monitoring or Miro for creating risk maps. The measure domain for quantifying risks. Measuring risk for better decision making is essential in the use of AI. You need to evaluate the impact of misdiagnosis from an AI tool you also need to collect the matrices to understand the severity, both in terms of how it impacts patient safety and the likelihood or the model drift of that happening. The goal is to prioritize critical risks. Examples of tools that could be used for measuring risk 
for better decision making is metric stream for risk scoring or risk assessment templates using ISO 31000 or COSO ERM for risk frameworks. And then the final domain of managing to mitigate and monitor risk is essential in managing healthcare AI. Examples of monitoring a predictive model using used in ICU care for patient outcomes or setting up real-time alerts or incident response plans and retaining cycles. The goal is to ensure safe, effective, and compliant AI usage. Examples of tools that would allow for monitoring uh, of your data and how AI is being used is Datadog for system monitoring or PagerDuty for incident response. The use of AI in healthcare improves patient safety and outcomes. It allows for the avoidance of legal and reputational risks. It also helps you to build trust with stakeholders and regulators. Ready to take control of AI risks with your organization? Download our free checklist or book a consultation or subscribe to CyberSec Zen for weekly insights and resources. In our next session, we will explore real world example of AI failures in other fields. Let us know what other areas you would like to look at in the comment section. Don't miss it. Subscribe to CyberSec Zen. Stay updated.